the, fi the findings of our study uh, are very interesting and encouraging. Uh, we have been able to enroll 30 patients. Uh, uh, this is a concerted effort between the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and Will Cornell in New York City, as well as Stanford and City of Hope, both in California. So we acc accrued about 30 patients, and uh, we exposed patients to venetoclax, initially at a dose of 200 milligrams um, by mouth once a day for a week, and then 400 milligrams by mouth once, once, a, you know, once daily for another week, and then 800 milligrams daily for two years. We did this for the first uh, six patients, and for patient number seven onward, we actually dropped down the 200 milligram dose, and we started at 400 milligrams by mouth once daily for a week, and then 800 milligrams daily for two years. So the idea of this study is, is twofold, is to show that there's some efficacy, meaning in, in making patients feel better and improve the patient's blood counts, but also at some point stop therapy and see if, if the therapy that we gave that was finite in duration actually have a long-term effect. Um, so the results of the study have been really encouraging in the sense that uh, when we looked at response rates, which in Waldenstrom's is a 25% decrease on the serum IgM levels, uh, we have been able to see that in 90% of patients. Uh, means out of 10 patients treated, nine will benefit from this therapy. Now, when we go a little deeper into partial responses, which means at least a 50% decrease on the IgM, 80% of patients got to that level. And we go, we go even deeper to about 90% decrease in IgM, as we call that a very good partial response. About 20% of patients got there. So this is a, a very encouraging because these patients have already been treated. Some patients up to 10 treatments prior to being exposed to venetoclax, so they get to see this benefit. Not only that, about half of the patients actually were previously exposed to ibrutinib. Ibrutinib is an agent that is FDA approved for the, so the treatment of patients with Waldenstrom's. It's also an oral agent, but it's a duration that is uh, indefinite, so patients can be on that for several years. So and we really do not know what happens or how can you best treat patients who are failing Ibrutinib. There's very limited data on that. So seeing an agent, in this case venetoclax, that is inducing responses on those patients is, is, is very exciting.